I like she's saying something, but it isn't actually part of the line. She's just making some noise. So you don't need to include this, right? Here, the actual dialogue starts. All right. Uh, so set the key and start marker there, and you press S again to. Yeah. Here, it actually ends a small bit of time after something that is most likely a scene change. Here I'm going to place the end marker a bit before the line actually ends, because later when we add automatically add lead out, it will stretch the line to somewhere to end somewhere around here, and then the automatical scene change timing thing will snap it back to the keyframe to the scene change. So I'm going to set it a bit before the actual scene change happens, because that will ensure that the automatical snapping actually snaps it back to the uh, to the scene change. So, as I said, you can be quite sloppy with this and still get away with it. Uh, right, so I'm setting the end here, and I'm pretending to go on. Here's some general noise again, and the actual dialogue start here. Oh, never mind that. It looks like the translator put yeah for his uh -huh noise right here, so you might want to include this. Right, and here it ends. You can kind of hear it, even if you don't know any Japanese, it's very easy to hear where a sentence ends, because, well, regardless of language, people mm, signal their end of sentence endings quite distinctively. Right, so we go on. Here's another line that ends right on the scene change. I'm placing the scene in the end marker right before the scene change here. Yeah, uh, sometimes you notice that the translator doesn't really match uh, what you hear with what's in the script, and that's not for you to worry about. He knows better than you, most likely. So, it's evident that this is the correct line, so... Do you just place the marker as you think it's correct, and then you go on. Right, uh... Yeah, uh, this isn't worth extending beyond the scene change either, you're just going on here. Yeah, you can easily to determine where line ends. You can either use W or you can just use the S key if the line is short to play. Usually the Q key is better to determine the line end and the S key is better to de determine the line start unless you're, it's really hard to tell where the line starts, in which case you can use Q instead. Yeah, I the mostly you the key the keys you will use the most are W S F and G. D can be marginally useful as well because it plays half a second before the selection end from when inside the selection to the selection end can be useful sometimes, but usually you'll get to use W and S more. Here you'll notice that the line goes on quite a bit after the scene change, so you'll just have to deal with it and put it after scene change. Right, you can usually tell pretty easily where there isn't any dialogue. So you can just skip that, past that with uh, the F key. Uh, 
Uh, here's a good question. Should you include the Psy in the script since there's an A ah here? I wouldn't do it it's because it adds like one second and a half to the time. Here's the... You'll notice that this like is half a syllable uh, after the scene change. It isn't worth it. It's better to cut the line off at the scene change because scene bleeds look pretty bad. Scene bleed is when the uh, subtitle line extends for a little bit after scene change. So and to ensure that it doesn't happen, we're going to cut the line off here. Whoops. Uh, well, you'll just go. お前、お前、文化祭サボりまくってた口だな。失礼ね。失礼ね。今まで言ってた学校って勉強勉強でそういう行事なかったの。テニス部は焼きそば屋さんやりますよ。焼きそば、焼きそば。焼きそばも知ら
Thank you for listening.